Genetically engineered foods have deeply infiltrated the American food supply. Almost 90% of crops like corn, soybeans, canola, and sugar beets grown in the United States are now genetically modified. Genetic engineering promises increased crop yields, lower costs for farmers, and reduced use of herbicides. But are these goals really being achieved? Are you benefiting from genetically engineered crops or paying a dear price for you and your children's future? It's time for an awakening. Learn to separate the truths from the myths on genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is totally different from natural breeding methods. Its promoters claim that genetic engineering is a safe and beneficial process, even going as far as saying that it's an extension of natural plant propagation. The truth, this is a laboratory-based technique where a foreign gene is inserted into the DNA of the plant. This is an uncontrolled process because the site of insertion is random and may potentially damage the plant's genetic makeup. The mutations that occur during the genetic engineering process can lead to many unexpected changes in the resulting crop, such as poor crop performance, alterations in the food's nutritional content, toxic and allergenic effects, and unforeseen harm to the environment. Genetic engineering does not reduce pesticide use. The proliferation of genetically engineered Roundup Ready crops has led to an increase in the amount of pesticides and herbicides used. The allowed residue limit of glyphosate the world's top weed killer, has also been increased. Monsanto promotes Roundup, its glyphosate-based pesticide, as safe and having low toxicity, but these claims are based on outdated and questionable studies. Monsanto Agriculture France was even charged with false advertising after claiming that Roundup is biodegradable and leaves the soil clean after use. Roundup is not biodegradable. In fact, Roundup's glyphosate is classified by the European Union to be dangerous for the environment. Nature always adapts, paving the way for glyphosate-resistant superweeds. This requires the increased use of stronger pesticides. Producers of the genetically engineered seeds benefit from the massive failure because of higher farmer dependence on their toxic chemicals. Genetic engineering does not increase crop yield potential. Genetically engineered crops do not increase intrinsic yield and actually have the opposite effect. Glyphosate depletes soil quality by killing the natural nutrients and organisms that are necessary for the plant's development, leading to plant diseases. Glyphosate is highly invasive and can mix with rain, air, water, soil, and groundwater. Genetic engineering creates serious environmental problems. Increased pesticide and herbicide use affects wildlife and the non-pest insect population. The increasing propagation of Roundup Ready corn and soybeans heavily contributed to the fall in monarch butterfly populations in North America. Pesticides affect the health of both GMO and non-GMO plants and can potentially kill them. Studies reveal that glyphosate leads to increased rates of sudden death syndrome, SDS, a plant disease that causes plants to turn yellow and die. Genetic engineering does not help solve climate change. Genetic engineering is justified as a climate change solution, when in reality it does nothing to solve the growing global problem. Tolerance to extreme weather conditions is too complicated to be inserted into plants through genetic engineering. Genetically engineered crops are as energy hungry as any other chemically farmed crops. GM crops consume massive amounts of energy because they are largely dependent on herbicides, which use fossil fuels during manufacture. GM crops are also dependent on nitrogen fertilizer, which emits greenhouse gases. GM proponents claim that GMOs are energy-friendly because of this no-till method, which implants herbicides in the plant's genetic structure instead of plowing to control weeds, therefore reducing the number of tractor passes that farmers have to make across their fields. However, research revealed that even though the no-till method did reduce farm operations, large amounts of energy are still consumed due to the production of herbicides, mostly Roundup, used on GM crops. Genetic engineering will not help eliminate world hunger. Genetic engineering does not protect the security of our food supply and solve the problem of world hunger. For the record, there are no genetically engineered crops available that increase intrinsic yield. World hunger is actually an issue of allocation of resources. Food security can be addressed by natural breeding methods, which give birth to efficient super crops like flood-tolerant rice, drought-tolerant maize, and pest-resistant chickpeas. There are no conclusive safety studies on GMOs. Most regulatory assessments on GMOs are only based on the data provided by biotech companies applying to commercialize GM crops, the same companies that profit from the positive assessment. 
The U.S. FDA does not have a mandatory safety assessment process for GMOs. Independent researchers are also prohibited from using genetically engineered crops for their studies. As soon as they find problems with GM crops and foods, they are immediately criticized, their work called flawed and insubstantial. Claims of GMO safety and efficiency have been refuted by many independent studies, and yet these organisms continue to lurk and proliferate in our food supply. Over 50 countries all over the world have now passed GMO labeling laws and GMO crop restrictions in order to ensure people's health. But Canada and the United States have yet to join the roster. It's time for you to stop Monsanto and other biochemical giants from dominating your country's food and farming system. It's time to reclaim your choice for truly healthy, sustainable, and naturally grown food sources.